All right, yo guys, it is the time that everybody has been waiting for. This is actually ridiculous. The official world record for the scissors death run. We are about to watch and react to live. Okay, I haven't seen this video yet, but apparently it's 100% confirmed. Apparently, this is a legit run. I'm going to watch it. We're going to figure it out together. If it's not, well, <laughs> that's a little awkward. No, but um, this time is actually insane. Right when people are starting to get better and better times, I'm like, yes, this is I w what I wanted. I wanted people to speed run, get better and better times, because that's what I would do back, back in Black Ops 3. I'd just get better and better times in free run, and this exceeded all expectations. I didn't think people would find these shortcuts. I didn't think people would get this time. Not even close. I thought four minutes was the cap. For those of you who don't know, there was an official challenge worth $1,500 on the line to the person who could get the fastest time before 2019, okay? Originally, it was $1,000, but then you got Vivid over here who streamed it for 17 hours straight. Literally went through hell just to, uh, you know, try and beat level five. And he's like, you know what? That was such a crazy stream. I want to add $500 to the prize pool. So shout out to Vivid for that. Awesome, dude. That was an awesome stream. $1,500 goes to the winner with the fastest time, free merch, and a massive shout-out. So if you guys don't follow him, if you don't subscribe or follow to the person that we're about to watch, after watching this, you're actually insane. You're a terrible person. Just know that. This person is going to impress you like no one else has. And all I'm saying is I can't wait for death run number two coming out later this month. Who knows what the prize pool will be. And you guys have to leave a like on this video if you want. A Scissors Death Run 2. And if you want the prize pool to be even higher, okay? Like the video and comment, how much should I give away for a death run? Be realistic here, okay? Don't say $30,000. I'm broke. Don't make me go broke. Anyway, let's watch this, okay? So I'm not going to officially claim that this is legit yet, but Suzu, the same guy that first beat my map, the same guy that impressed the crap out of everybody else first, apparently has the world record now. So let's just watch this ridiculousness. Start in the middle, okay. Start from the very middle of that, uh, yeah, that circle right there. There aren't really many shortcuts on level one, but just the fact that he can, you know, perfectly time these jumps, even with jump fatigue. He baits the ice trap. I've seen that in one other run before. I didn't even know that was possible. So he doesn't... What? <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, I've seen some ridiculous things on level 2, but I've never seen that. I need to watch that back. How is that even possible? And then I've seen this run before. That is also stupid. Think of the fact that how many hours people have spent on this map, and this guy just got through it in 40 seconds. Suzu, you're actually a beast. You're actually <laughs> insane, bro. <laughs> No way. And level five, just to put into context, Liquid Vivid spent 17 hours straight trying to beat this legit. And Suzu is just a madman. Okay? No hate towards Vivid, okay? It's, it's a really tough map. If you haven't tried level five for yourself, you better try it out. Because he just made that look easy, dude. No now, I'm assuming if this is the world record, he doesn't miss a single bottom trap. That's what trips a lot of people up on this one. Because for whatever reason... Traps on the sides and the ceilings have a different trigger point than traps on the bottom. So if there are two traps on the floor, you can stand in between them. If there are two traps on the wall, you can't stand in between them. It's really weird. So you have to, like, run a little bit further. Oh, he did miss one. Oh. I mean, he only missed one, I think, maybe. But still, that... That, like, half a second of time that it took to run back and bait the other trap... Someone else could, like, get a better time and beat that. But the contest is over, and apparently this is the official time, so no one else did it. No one else did it as good as freaking Suzu the Beast. I said, what does he do here? I've seen a lot of different strats. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. That's, like, the best strat I've seen on that on that part. Oh, my God, dude. This is... This makes me mad. <laughs> no, not Actually, this is exactly what I wanted. I just... This exceeded all expectations. I wanted it to turn into a speedrunning contest. But this exceeded all expectations, dude. That's crazy, dog. Okay, what does he do here? Dude. The fact that he makes this look so easy blows my mind. 
I guarantee you 1% of the population that tried this got to this part legit. 1%. There's like a... Oh my gosh. Okay, and he needs to use all 10 grapplers legit. You have to hit every block here. So let's just try and confirm. He's got to use a grappler on every block. Just make sure he does it legit. Dude, he did a legit run. And he doesn't even go for the landing. He just goes right for it. <laughs> Get out, bro. Get out of here. Get out of it. You're crazy. Suzu, you're actually absurd. First of all, you need to do this right now. Go to his YouTube channel, okay? I'm going to link this this video in the description of this video. The first link, click it, subscribe, like the video, comment. You are actually a beast. Please take my money. All 1,500. <laughs> I love you. Please, every like, actually, you need to blow this video up. And then right after that, as soon as you're done... Liking, subscribing, commenting, go over to Twitch and follow this man, okay? Follow Suzu, okay? This this clip of him beating it in seven minutes, this went viral on Twitch. This has 65,000 views for a Twitch video. I mean, that's understandable for like a YouTube video, but 65,000 views on a Twitch clip that's eight minutes long? People really watch this on Twitch. You need to go follow Suzu right now. This guy's a beast. He's a legend. If you don't follow him right now, I'm actually not going to make another death run. I'm done with creative mode. You guys need to follow him or I'm going to be really pissed. Okay. He gets $1,500. He gets free merch. But more importantly, he needs that shout out. He needs that juice. Please, for the love of God, go follow this man. He deserves it. Three minutes and 17 seconds. You guys got to be blowing this guy up. Okay. I'm going to make a second one. I'm going to make a second course. Okay. If this video that he has right here gets 10,000 likes and this video you're watching right now gets 10,000 likes. Uh, I'll make a second one. I'll invite Suzu to try it first live on stream. And it'll be great, okay? Only if you guys absolutely blow him up because this is insane. I've never been more impressed with Fortnite skill in my life. I don't think I've ever been more impressed. All jokes aside, though, um, I'd say there's only a handful of people who actually beat this course. Maybe 20, 30 people that actually beat this obstacle course. The amount of tweets that I've gotten, the amount of stuff that literally has been like said to me, but just hate messages. Like I've gotten hate on Twitter being like, scissors, your map is stupid. I you suck. I your map. I hate you. And they aren't even following me on Twitter. <laughs> they don't even. Okay. I want to watch this level two again, though. I want to watch this level two again. So he baits the ice trap. He gets jump fatigue, but it's don't. It doesn't matter because that's the fastest way. And then, how does he land on that? Doesn't look for a second that he's able to make it there. So that's one of the more impressive skips. That's already insane. But this wait, hold up. And then he skips. Yo, that's so risky. Oh my gosh, he skips that other platform. I guess, yo, he's trying to save all the time he can. Uh, okay, just on a real note, think of how many hours he put into perfecting this. Think of the effort it took to do this. And if you guys still don't blow him up and still don't, at least go like. Just a few clicks away of showing your support to this dude. He 100% deserves it. He's awesome, man. Like, legit. It made me so happy seeing him blow up. You know what? We're going to plug his Twitter, too, okay? His Twitter will be on the screen right now. It'll be in the description. Follow him on Twitter, okay? Show him some love. Tweet him saying, yo, Scissors sent me. Your run was awesome. I'll be going through your guys' tweets, making sure you actually do that. I'll like them. I'll comment on them. I'll reply to them. I just need you guys showing him all the love. And then the, to think of how many hours he put into this, how much he perfected this, and then this skip right here is also insane. This has got to be perfect. Dude, what? Oh, my God. No lie. When people were getting times around like four minutes, like four minutes and 30 seconds, I thought I could compete with that. I was like, you know what? I, I was a speed runner for Black Ops 3 free run. I have great movement. I could do this. This is next level. Obviously, I would have to put like a 
decent amount of time into perfecting my own map, but I could never in a million years get this time. I'm telling you right now. Like, I thought I could do it with one, maybe two deaths. This is next level, dude. The strats he took, like, no one else was making these jumps. Maybe, like, two other people were doing it like he's doing it. But this guy just perfected everything, dude. I don't know. This makes me so happy to see the fact that he literally just destroyed my course and hundreds of thousands of people failed miserably. Don't worry. You're not alone. There were hundreds of thousands of people failing miserably. <sighs> just shout out to Suzu, man. This makes me so happy. And I cannot wait for death run number two anyway guys that's gonna be it this is the official scissors death run world record please go show him some mad love he deserves it he earned it fair and square fifteen hundred dollars free merch okay he also got free merch if you didn't know you can go on over to scissorsmerch.com and purchase all three of those items right now scissorsmerch.com suzu earned it for free but um we might be doing some more merch giveaways near future so stay tuned for that but if you want Coppicesmerch.com. Make sure you tweet at me if you do buy.